The coronavirus pandemic makes a big impact. Around the world, schools and offices are being closed. Events are canceled and hospitals are getting worried of being overloaded. This may seem like a movie, but it is all very real. This is the evolution of coronaviruses. Coronaviruses are a group of related viruses that cause diseases in mammals and birds, including pigs, camels, chickens, cows, cats, horses, and humans. Most coronaviruses seem to originate from bats. But why bats? Bats can fly, live in packed colonies, and have a strong immune system. Their immune system could drive viruses to replicate faster. So when the virus jumps to mammals or humans with a weaker immune system, it can easily cause severe illness or even death. Sometimes coronaviruses can jump to other animal species or humans. The new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, that causes the disease called COVID-19, is thought to have originated from bats that may have infected pangolins before infecting humans. Previously, in 2012, Another coronavirus causing MERS has jumped from bats to dromedaries before infecting humans. And similarly, in 2002, the SARS coronavirus used civet cats as an intermediate host before infecting humans. A lot is still uncertain about these viruses and their origin. Viruses are so small that even with normal microscopes, we can't see them. This makes them a kind of invisible threat. And their ability to mutate rapidly is also why it is very difficult to make a vaccine. It may take more than a year before there is a vaccine for COVID-19. A corona pandemic that most people haven't heard about is PED, porcine epidemic diarrhea. The PED virus didn't infect humans, but killed approximately 7 million pigs in the United States within one year. This is notable since pigs already live in a kind of lockdown. Housed in different pens and with limited travel and strict hygiene to prevent transmission between farms. Still, the PED virus spread across the U.S. This was because the virus was extremely contagious and could survive up to 28 days on equipment and surfaces. By contrast, we may consider ourselves lucky, in a way that the COVID-19 virus can probably only survive outside humans for up to three days. It is also surprising that the mortality rate of PED decreases with age, while the mortality rate for COVID-19 increases with age. In total, there are seven strains of human coronaviruses. Generally, they produce mild symptoms of the common cold. <coughs> However, three viruses can cause severe diseases. These are SARS, MERS, and COVID-19. SARS and COVID-19 originated in China and MERS was first discovered in Saudi Arabia. All of these diseases are similar in many ways. The transmission is mostly from person to person by droplet spread when someone coughs or sneezes. <coughs> Most infected people first get a high fever. Other symptoms for COVID-19 are dry cough, tiredness, as well as some less common symptoms. Some people for all of these diseases develop a more serious illness featuring pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection in the lungs. The air sacs may fill with fluid or pus, causing cough, fever, chills, and difficulty breathing. The SARS outbreak mostly affected Asia and resulted in 8,000 cases in 2002 and 2003. MERS mostly affected the Middle East and resulted in 2,500 cases in 2012 until now. MERS is still active, although currently there isn't an outbreak. The pandemic of COVID-19 already affected most of the world with more than 540,000 cases as of March the 27th. The mortality rates are very different. SARS has a mortality rate of 10%, MERS as high as 34%, and COVID-19 between 3 and 4%. This resulted in 774 deaths for SARS, 866 deaths for MERS, and more than 24,000 deaths for COVID-19 so far. COVID-19 is easily the scariest of the three, and we've no idea where it will end. One thing we do know is that everyone must contribute to control how much the virus will spread. Step one, hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap, cough in your elbow, and avoid touching your face. Step two, social distancing. Keep distance, stay home as much as possible, and avoid crowded places. 
especially if you've any symptoms. This way we make sure our healthcare systems have enough capacity to help all the sick people and less people will die. The only way we can overcome this pandemic is by working together globally.